Hello, my name is James Moon. I'm a professor from University of Michigan in the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences and Biomedical Engineering. I'll give a very brief overview of ongoing work in my lab where we use nanomaterials to improve cancer immunotherapy. As you probably know, uh, cancer immunotherapy is revolutionizing how we are treating cancer patients. Uh, and one particular reagents that are getting a lot of attention is uh, CGAS sting pathway for immune activation. These activate what's called the sting receptors in immune cells. And these dicyclic dinucleotides can induce very st strong sting activation to get type 1 interferon response that can melt tumors away in different tumor models. But it's hard to deliver these uh, uh, for systemic route because these are small molecules that disseminate quite rapidly after uh, injection. So we designed a nanoparticle system that allows us to do a systemic injection of these uh, a cyclic dinucleotide-based sting activation. Uh, to achieve this, we combine with a, a slight, um, a small bit of metal, manganese. Uh, why? Because um, by adding manganese, we can significantly enhance the potency of sting agonist by sometimes 10 to 70 folds, depending on different molecules. And they form these nanocrystals that we can wrap around with lipid vesicles to have a very stable nanostructures. And in this paper, we have shown that uh, after intratumoral or intravenous injection, they induce immune responses and uh, serve as a very potent immune activator against the tumor cells. So just to show you a very quick overview of our work, we implant tumors in sub flank. This is a very challenging, the 16 f melanoma model. And we give IV, intravenous injection of our particles delivering sting agonists. And this uh, CMP is our particle that has a manganese uh, in the core. And we see very long extended animal survival for this um, animals treated with our particles. In contrast, if you give a uh, sting agonist that are in clinical trials, such as uh, Aduro and uh, GSK's compound, they were not as uh, effective as our control uh, particle groups. And also liposomes that served as a control also did not show uh, dramatic anti-tumor efficacy. So all in all, we developed a nanoparticle system that allows us to do IV injection with a very potent anti-tumor efficacy. Another line of work we are uh, working on is um, something called um, uh, inulin. This is a dietary fiber that's commonly found in uh, plant roots, such as a chicory and Jerusalem artichoke. Uh, it's a polysaccharide that modulates the gut microbiome to induce a uh, strong T cell response. Basically in our work uh, published recently, we showed that when inulin is formed into an inulin gel and given by oral route in mice, it gets uh, coated onto the colon layers uh, serving as a nutrient source for microbes residing in the colon. And these microbes will secrete beneficial metabolites by fermenting inulin gel. And we found out that short chain fatty acids from these microbes can turn T cells into super uh, cytotoxic T cells, a subset of T cells called uh, stem like memory CD T cells. So, in this tumor model, in mouse model, what we have shown is that. Uh, mice given inulin gel by oral route plus immune checkpoint blockers by systemic route can significantly enhance uh, anti-tumor efficacy uh, uh, compared with giving immune checkpoint blockers alone or immune checkpoint blocker combined with a native inulin. So all in all, we, what we have shown is uh, that biomaterials uh, that can tune the gut microbiome uh, thereby activating host immune responses against the cancer. And with that, I want to thank you for your attention. And the members in my lab who did the work, including Dr. Kai Han and Sushi Sun. Uh, and I also want to thank our uh, funding agencies. Thank you.